Hi, and this is Richard from pi3dscan.com. In this video, I want to demonstrate on how you can automate the entire process from making a scan and then getting that scan processed to Edgesoft, um, uh, basically somewhat cleaned up, uh, and then have it automatically posted on Sketchfab. Now, in order to do this, um, you do need to use with Edgesoft Professional, and you have to place markers into your scanner. So in my case here, um, what I have is I have a floor mat that actually has three markers on it, or well, it has four, but you need to have at least three markers. And these markers are there to automatically calculate what the ground level is. So it will automatically um, make, based on this triangulation of these three markers, um, a leveled scan. It will put the bounding box um, based on those three markers. Now you also need some markers on the side on the left um, and some markers on the right. Uh, in my case I'm using two here on the left and two here on the right and it will actually use this to calculate the middle point. It will take the average of these four points and it will calculate what the middle, the center is of your scanner. Now together with the ground leveling um, it allows you to run a script in Agisoft that would then calculate the bounding box um, and automatically know what area it need to, needs to process. Now, all of this is scripted. So what I have here is I have my scan. So this is my scan of myself. And I also have this scan made with projection. So if I look here, I actually have the scan where I'm blasted with projection. Besides that, I've also made the scan of my scanner while no one was in there. So here I actually have a scan um, where no one was standing actually inside my scanner. So all I have to do to automatically process this scan is I have to create an, a JSON file. Um, and in this JSON file, I can specify the name of my scan. Uh, I'm just using my scan ID. And I'm specifying what the directory is of my normal scan without projection. I'm specifying the directory um, of where my scan is with projection. And I'm also specifying, you see the number difference here, I'm also specifying the directory where there is the empty scan. Uh, and this will be used to automatically create a mask in Agisoft so you actually have less noise. Uh, and it also will actually be a, a little bit faster in processing. Um, then I also specify a directory on where it actually will save the output, where it will save the Edgesoft project file, where it will save the OBJ, uh, and it will also upload itself to Sketchfab, and it will also save into that save directory uh, a text file with the URL uh, of how I can actually then actually have this uh, scan available on Sketchfab. So how does this work? Well, all we need to do is we need to actually run Edgesoft here. And in Edgesoft, um, as you can see right now, I have an empty Edgesoft, nothing in there. Um, all I do is I go to console and I'm actually going to run my script, uh, my auto process script. And just before I do that, just so I can show you, uh, let me put that over here. So we have Edgesoft here. Um, we are going to run the script. And by default right now, nothing actually will happen. Um, as you can see, the script is uh, well, uh, running and it actually is saying here, checking for a new task. And right now there is no task to do. So you can leave this actually shop running all day long. And every time that you have um, a process to that you want to scan, all you need to do is you need to take your JSON file that I have here and actually copy that into the directory that the script is actually monitoring. In this case, it's my monitor directory. So the moment I move that in here, you will see that Agisoft starts working. It will now actually start processing the scan um, and it will actually um, do all the steps. So it will first um, uh, read in the image, the scan with, um, uh, with no projection uh, and it will detect the markers on that. And it does that on the non-projection scan because then the markers are easier identified because actually the projection interferes with the markers itself. So we use the scan without projection on that. Um, secondly, then we will actually then automatically generate the masks. Um, if you don't want this, if you don't specify an empty directory, it will just automatically skip this phase. But in my case right now, it actually will automatically generate the masks. And after this is done, it will actually switch the images to the images with projection um, and then do the camera alignment. It will create a dense cloud. It will um, create a mesh. It does, does some basic cleanup. It will create texture. Uh, it will then actually um, save all the files. It will zip up um, uh, the files and it will automatically upload it to um, Sketchfab. So let's let this run and uh, I'll, I'll speed it up and you can see actually how it actually works.
So there you have it. Um, it has finished the processing. Um, and as you can see, we now actually have um, a workable model uh, in here, um, which I can't describe is still running. So I just have this a bit slow. It's not really responsive, but um, you can actually see that the scan is, uh, is there. Um, and you'll see in the process directory um, that we now actually have our uh, texture file, our OBJ, we have our Edgesoft uh, project file, we have a zip file, which is the OBJ zipped up with the MTL and the JPEG, um, and we have the Sketchfab URL. So if we now actually just open up this link, um, we can actually just open this up and you will see that on Sketchfab right now, the model is being processed. Um, and when that is done, uh, the model will be available in Sketchfab. So let's have a wait for that. And there you have it. Um, we now have our scan uploaded automatically on Sketchfab. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, it's not a clean scan, of course, in any form or shape. There are some artifacts on the top of the head. Um, but mainly, as you can see, this is a, a good enough visible scan uh, to show people um, um, automatically uh, what their scan looks like and then they can decide if they actually want to order this or not. So to do some of this automatic scanning processing yourself you can go to pi3dscan.com and here you can actually download um, the sample the automatic processing scan script. Um, it's on here, download auto process V1. Uh, and you also find the instructions here written down on how to actually install the script. Um, you need to copy one particular file uh, into the Python library of Photoscan. Um, and you can download the PDF for the format if you want to, uh, but you can also use a normal A4 sheet with printed out markers that you can lay on the, on the, on the floor. As long as you have three markers that are at a 90 degree point, uh, from each other uh, you should be fine now the wider the markers are the more accurate you get your ground leveling uh, but you can choose to use just an a4 sheet or a big a1 sheet that i actually am using here uh, and then of course you can put your markers in there and finally you have to just create your json files uh, to start automatically processing the scans so thank you for watching um, and good luck with your scanning